Hey guys, welcome back to Sammy Vostok and today we are going to be looking at my new University of Semi Vostok, which I actually have built. I hope you don't you hope you guys don't mind But I just wanted to see what it's like off camera and also some of the mods have not yet been updated So there could be some extra lag there could be some weird things going on in the background of my city So no need to point that out I'm aware there are some things and we'll just have to wait till all of the mods updated before it goes back to completely normal But for now, it's it's good enough for a video so, I, I just wanted to go through what I have built on my new campus area. Maybe you guys are still unsure if you should buy it, or maybe you need some inspiration on how to lay it out, or even just want to look at it, I don't know. But anyway, let's check it out. Okay, damn, that's enough cinematics because the game is so laggy. I don't know, there, there has to be a mod that is still broken and it's like working on triple overtime because for you, for, for you guys who don't know, I actually have a really, really strong gaming computer. Um, I had it custom made specifically for like really intense gaming and like even my computer's struggling. So anyway, let's get on with it. So anyway, I'm just going to put it on pause and let's zoom out. So this is the big sports field that is part of it. It is the track and field stadium. I thought it's really necessary that we have to have this. Um, we can do the competitions. Looks like we <laughs> we lost last time. Um, you can do all of that stuff, which is basically pretty generic throughout the whole, whole game. You can do that exact thing. Um, upkeep 3,500 a week. Oh, that's a little bit much, right? Anyway, let's zoom out. Here it is. Du -du -du -du. There we go. I'm keeping it on pause just, just in case. I don't want to kill the computer. So, what I wanted it to look like is it has its specific areas, but then it also kind of blends into the other areas as well. So, I didn't want it to actually look like... For example, okay, here are all of the houses, and then here is the campus. I wanted it to kind of mix in a little bit, which is a, it's, it's a little bit hard to do. But anyway, what has happened, this is the main campus area. So, Technological Institute of Semivostok, it even put the name in Russian. Uh, so, this is all of it here. And then we also have these buildings up in here as well. And I added in some more just generic buildings, just residential offices and shops, just to blend it all in a little bit nicer. So let's go in and actually let's start over here. Okay, so, 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 so. We'll go through all of the buildings because I, I think all the buildings are really cool. Anyway, we had this existing island and originally I was going to use this space for the university, but if we look at the size of the buildings, um, hmm. I think we should just detail this area with those types of buildings that are already there. So we have this little island here, and since this is the university commencement office, I thought, why don't we do something a little bit different? So it's on the island here, it's with the math club and the chess club, um, and it's just like really secluded, it's really, I don't know, I just feel like it's really grand. <laughs> like, you, like generally, they probably wouldn't come over here unless they're graduating or they're going to those. So I wanted it to feel a little bit special, really lush, lots of buildings. I added in some tiles underneath. You can see when I move the camera, um, they kind of glitch a little bit where they're overlapped. But yeah, I think it looks really cool having it right there. Now we have a nice network of pathways. So we have this one that goes directly along the train line and then this one that goes onto the graduation island and back over to the main building and also goes up here to the the dorms and also connects all the way up through here um the the train line originally it went over the top connected onto the road and then came around here duh, 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 and then it comes back over to here um i thought no that's going to ruin the whole vibe because you don't want to hear a train always going past like your window if you're trying to learn right you, you don't really want that so i had to sink it down and i tried to hide it with this tunnel here and then putting the pathways over the top of it just to get rid of it i know it's close to the water line but uh, 
we can kind of get away with it. And also, you guys are probably going to be like, well, why didn't you put a train station right here or like a subway station or something? The train station is just here. So it's even though they have to cross this large road, generally, that's not far. They have to walk from here da, 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 down to the main road. And then, yeah, they have to cross this main road, but this main road is pretty empty a lot of the time. And then they're there. So it's not really much of an issue. Uh, same with the ferry. So it's right here. There's a pathway that goes up along there goes connects back to the ground there and then they can cross here as well or they can walk back around this way which is a little bit longer and connect up to this pathway but there are options I, I should have maybe put a pathway underneath here I'm not sure uh, I, I could have but I thought it might look a little bit too much you know okay so you're probably wondering like why is this building up here well this is the university administration building and it's it's pretty big, like it's a pretty large building and it didn't really fit in over here. It took up a lot of space and I thought it would just, it just wouldn't look right. So I put it over here and it kind of, it looks out over the whole campus. So you have this little bit here, um, it looks out all the way over here, looks out over the water, looks out there and looks over towards the city. You can see the, the game's a bit laggy. Um, yeah, so let's just pause that again. But um, yeah, so lots of parking here for all of the teachers maybe. Um, we also have some little shops here. This is the shops from the new King Leno, I don't know, it, it came out with the whole new campus DLC, you can get that on the Steam Workshop, it has a whole bunch of different commercial and residential buildings, which are really cool, I like them, I got it for free, thanks again to everyone over at Paradox for that. Yeah, so lots of parking over here for all of them, a little bit of an entry point here, and yeah, the only downside is with this campus, there's a lot of walking, like that it's hilly a lot of walking but i mean it's probably a nice walk it's it's nice like you can look out onto the bay you can look over towards the city look at the river yeah it's nice right but it's it is a lot of walking so um come back over to here this side this building is not part of it it was a mountain resort but it's now <laughs> kind of merged in with this whole thing here but yeah so we covered that the track and field now we have the little groundkeeper guy here, groundkeeper Willy. He probably lives in there doing whatever he does. And then we have the, the dorms over here, 375 people maximum per building, which is a lot because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight levels. That's a lot. That's a lot of rooms. <laughs> I, I should have maybe added in like a little pool or like some seating areas or something, but I, th I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll get to that eventually. So this road is specifically for the dormitories so they can walk back over across here. And then basically they're in the campus. So it's really close, but I didn't want to put the dormitories right in the campus. I wanted to use all of this main space for the actual buildings. So what do we have? We have here the University Media Lab, which is really nice looking. We have the University Library, very grand, big building. Um, and then if we come over to here, we have the bookstore and it's a little bit, um, a little bit wonky. So we'll pretend we didn't see those parking lots there. Isn't this a bit big for a bookstore? Like how many books are they selling or what's going on in the back? I don't know. Something else is going on. And then this big one right here is the school of law. So instead of having it on the main road here, I added in its own little slip road, which comes from up here down and around and there we go because i imagine since there's a lot of students some of them are going to drive obviously um and instead of them just driving here then pulling up and then stopping and then backing up traffic that's already on the road we don't want that so obviously I put it onto this little road so they have to go around and then if they want to back up all the cars on here that's fine as long as they don't touch this main road even though it is a ghost town it it's pretty empty but i mean if i didn't do it i it would kind of annoy me so yeah this one over here, I specifically put this one here, it's the gymnasium. Now it's shoved in the corner because it's right near the, the main roads, there's going to be a lot of traffic, so it doesn't really matter if it's going to be noisy for them because they're in there going to be noisy anyway, doing whatever they want to do. Gymnasium provides the students with athletic, recreational and leisure services that will benefit citizen health. I probably should have put that next to the big sports field, now that I, now that I think about it. but. Oh well, and then we have the laboratories, laboratories, however you want to say it, right there. I tried to make it look like it's connected to the the elevated 
part here so like for example they could go in there or they could go in there but technically they can't but i just wanted to make it look like it does uh we have the university cafeteria right there and i connected them all up to make it look like it's one long building and then this one right here is the study hall right in the middle of the campus well kind of anyway easy access so you got the pathways coming along they all kind of meet here parking up front if they do need to park and then we've got the main what is this called like a plaza fountain thing two of those mushed in there we have the study hall and then the auditorium what actually is that is that provides students and faculty staff with a pleasing variety of program to choose from guest lectures to art performances i feel like i can't read uh is that everything is that everything oh uh, yeah also 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 we have these two ones these two buildings up here this one up here it's quite large but i like the shape of it how it's got the little connecting things here this is the school of science look at that nice big long i feel like these buildings fit in with the whole russian vibe i'm going on for uh and then this one over here maybe not so russian-y but school of medicine school of medicine allows the use of completely new workforce in healthcare as medical interns are capable of taking care of the more mundane cuts bruises coughs and flus that's good so 629 of them uh, right next to the train station oh yeah and then this is the public library Actually, you guys, how many of you actually bought the new campus DLC? I'm going to put a poll above. So let me know because I'm actually curious because I, f I feel like it maybe won't do as well because people probably don't realize the amount of buildings in this this whole expansion pack. I mean, when I first saw it, I thought, oh yeah, it's just going to be a few buildings, but it's actually quite a lot of buildings and it really changes your whole city, I think, because you can make this whole big university town, university city. Do you guys remember when I built this? It was probably like a month or more. I actually, <laughs> don't, judge, don't judge me, but I actually turned it all off because the university here, 16,000, almost seven, 17,000 capacity. So a lot of them were over here. Um, suspiciously, <laughs> they've all left here. It's kind of, the hallways are empty. There's only some ghosts going around. They've all, for some weird reason, all gone over to this lovely new shiny campus over here and actually let's have a look at the information so oh we're not even making money yet but student capacity almost 8,000 we're almost at 4,000 so it's gonna take a long time before we actually make any money it's unrecognized I've let it play out for a little while that's why um, this is near the end and I want to see what it looks like when they all graduate and I'll show you guys that on camera as well. Students, current level, what does this mean? Academic work, oh. I did do this but for some reason it's, I don't know, is it doing it? Is it not doing it? I don't know what's happening with that but anyway I did do that so maybe one will pop up soon. I also did free lunch just because um, I thought I better not do universal universal education because like oh we don't want to lose too much money same with student health care uh, oh maybe i could do it actually it's only five cents per student we'll see how that goes okay so let's wait for the academic year to be done and we can check out the graduation ceremony hang on a second i just zoomed in and i realized they're graduating already wait let me go into first person Excuse me, I didn't realize you guys were done. Oh well, look at them throwing their hat hats up. We weren't allowed to throw our hats up because the, everyone was like, oh, it's a safety hazard. The, the points on the hat can come down and like poke you in the head or whatever. So we couldn't do it. So, oh, here they go again. Woo, yay, we graduated again. How many times are they going to do it though? And why is there only one guy there? There's that guy over there waiting, watching. It's kind of cozy in here. Oh, there they go again. Whoa, look at that. Oops, oh my god, where am I? There we go, I'm sitting in the back row. Woo! 
Good for them. So I guess they graduate and then you get the, the screen pops up and shows you like the whole academic year result type thing. Oh, what's that guy doing? How many times are they going to graduate though? Like how many times are they going to throw their hat up? Oh, here they go again. Whoa. I wonder if this all gets full. Like if you have a campus that's at 100% student capacity or near to it, does this get full? Does anyone know? Because that would be cool if it does. And like, I wish there was a, a group of like, all the parents come along or family comes along, they all spectate the whole thing. That would be really cool. And that would be a nice little touch, the whole thing. Oh yeah, just quickly, I just need to manage this. Um, just stop that, because I put the median in the middle. I don't want them to cross it, because that's the whole point. You don't want them to cross over it, because it makes it look neater. Okay, looks like it's just about done. If I put that over, ends in zero weeks. Come on, d -d 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 students. Still hasn't really gone up. Campus attractiveness is right up high, so hopefully they will get more recognized. Oh, that just reset. Am I going to get this? No, there's still... Because when I was playing it off camera on another city, it actually popped up with all the information about your campus for the year and um, like the research stuff as well. So I'm not sure why it's not popping up. Also, you guys, I just want to do the little bus loop. I, I haven't checked out the um, the little school bus. I want to see what it looks like. So, but isn't that weird that they have the yellow school bus, which is usually for like high school and primary school, but it's for the university. Is that a little bit odd? Oh, oh well, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put one here. Yes, it's in the car park, but whatever. And then it's going to come up here to the main administration building. We shall stop up here at the student accommodation um can i plop one there let's just plop it there i can always always move it anyway um and then we'll bring it up here to these two because obviously this is there's a lot of students up here right um and then we can i think if i put it there can it go back there yeah actually we put it We'll put one right there just to see how it goes just for fun and then comes back here and then someone said that you just have to select type so school bus there we go add vehicle one two three four of them will do yeah let's wait for them to come over ah uh, look at that so cute so cute <laughs> Oh, this is a real ghost town over here. Look at that. No one wants to go to the zoo anymore. Oh my god, it's like, it's dead over here. I haven't looked at this since, like, the start of the whole city. Like, this is dead over here. Oh my god, I didn't realize. Hey guys, just to wrap up the video nicely, um, we're going to go on a... It's almost first person, but not really. It's, like, on top of the bus first person mode. We're just going to... Um, slowly go around the city eventually it's going to get to the campus and then it's going to go on the little uh, campus bus loop that we did i don't know if i'll leave it like that because how i put it down was pretty quick and um i suspect that it might cause some issues just because i didn't really think about how to put it down but yeah anyway if anyone knows of a mod that is like broken at the moment or is still waiting to be updated please let me know um yeah because the game is a bit laggy which you'll see throughout the little bus tour now but anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to do the, the little poll i'm curious how many of you actually bought the the campus dlc so yeah let me know and um don't forget to hit that like button if you like the campus and want to see more of these types of videos and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of me so anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys